Let's try this. I think I have the right ambiance. Hey, this is 7-2 Daystar. Um, this video, the topic, is getting death threats on the internet. It's uh, kind of a pastime of mine. I've been working on it for a couple of years. Uh, I still remember my first death threat today. It's like, just like yesterday. I was um, arguing with a Muslim. Well, I wasn't arguing. I was explaining my position and he didn't like it. So uh, he didn't directly deliver it to me. He just said, people who are doing what you're doing deserve to be killed. So I'd count that as one. Um, also, some I, I guess when Christians say that you deserve to go to hell, I kind of uh, consider that uh, a threat of violence or something like that. They, they're not going to do it, of course, but they're uh, looking forward, apparently, to the day when, uh, when God will, will uh, exact his, uh, his judgment and punishment. So I kind of count that as a, another threat from uh, people that I've uh, talked to on, on the internet. Uh, who else? Oh, racists. Yeah, racists both in America and Korea have threatened me with violence. They were the ones who were, they were the most serious about it. They uh, actually tried to trick me. One guy tried to trick me into giving up my, uh, my address so that he could uh, track me down and beat me up. Uh, who else? Uh, there was another guy from the United States who was another racist who uh, wanted to uh, do harm to me. Um, oh, and most recently, I, I brought this up because just in my last video on meat is not murder, uh, I got some some uh, ethical vegetarians, absolutists. I should qualify it by that in that sense. They're ethical vegetarians, which doesn't necessitate any violence on itself, but when they become an absolutist, and I'm a meat eater, and I go to the trouble to explain why I'm a, I, why I, how I've come to terms with eating meat, they think, well, I'm far worse than even an ordinary eat meat eater now, because I'm out here talking about, or making, being an apologist for meat eating, and they don't find it acceptable at all, so I was told by a couple of them that I certainly deserved death. Um, and one that said that they would, they just, when they see people like me, they just think, oh, kill. It's really extraordinary. So my last video, I got a video response, which was good, but the video respondent was, uh, it was disappointing because he wasn't able to bring any actual, like, real reasons. Uh, just a lot of emotion. He obviously felt really passionate about it which would be fine in itself, but uh, because I disagreed with his position, he felt justified in being comically abusive. Uh, I was really suspecting he was trolling for a while, but apparently he's sincere. Uh, it's very, really difficult to tell sometimes. Um, so he did a video response, which actually helps me. It helps my video get higher up in the algorithm. Yeah, YouTube has an algorithm that gives you basically a point system. Um, so it'll determine how far up the stack. So if someone searches ethical vegetarianism um, or meat eating or something that was in my tags or in the, the text, then my video will get a ranking. Now, it's probably, if it only has a few views and it doesn't have many likes and comments, then it's probably not going to be on the first page. And for most people, if it's not on the first page, they're never going to see it. Um, but it takes the more dedicated people who will dig down through uh, several pages of videos in order to, to find who everyone who's commented on that topic that day. Come on! Oh. I didn't get to go out for a walk yesterday, so Olive is extra excited about being out today. Um, so, a little disappointing there, because he actually, I'm pretty sure he thumbed down, and another person thumbed down the video, and that puts it pretty far down the stack, despite having a response video. Um, it's still going to be pretty far down there, which is a little disappointing, but I, I'm thinking I should get credit for the death threats. So, I noticed YouTube's doing a lot of changes recently, 
And you should, you know, we got a share button, we got favorites, we got like and dislike, but just dislike or flagging is the only thing that we can really do in the negative sense. I propose that we have a death threat button. So if you think that the person who produced the video deserves to die, you could just just click right on there. Just click right on there, and that will let the person know just how powerfully you uh how powerfully you disagree with them. So much so that you think that they deserve death. Um, and I think that, but that should give you a bump. I mean, really, if you're saying something that controversial, like it, like, for example, eating meat is not the worst thing we can do in life. Uh, and it's really not that big a deal, so long as the animal's killed in a humane fashion, and it's used. Um, something as controversial as that, and then they, the, those viewers who strongly object to that obviously should have some sort of, some further recourse other than just putting thumbs down. How unsatisfying is that? They should be able to put death threat. That's what I'm proposing. So I'm hoping the people at YouTube will take this into consideration. I know there's, they certainly have seemed very open to empowering haters and trolls on this site. Uh, really, the content makers on this site are the most vulnerable people here. Uh, it's really, this is a site that facilitates haters and trolls. And so I'm sure YouTube will want to give this proposal serious consideration. Alright, that's all I got for today. 7-2 Daystar, out. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and hopefully in the near future, threaten me with death.